Yankees acquired James Paxton. He's a 30-year-old left-hander. His nickname is the Big Maple. Uh, this past year, 11 and 6, 3.76 ERA, and 28 starts. He threw 116 at third innings pitched. He struck out 208 with a whip of 1.098. So good numbers. Again, he's 30. He is not a free agent till 2021. So they have him controlled for three years. Here are the three players the Yankees are sending. Their number one prospect, Justice Sheffield, who remember they got from the Indians in the Andrew Miller deal. Uh, outfielder Don Thompson Williams, who is unranked as a prospect, and right handed pitcher Eric Swanson, who has been on the come of late, and uh, he's their number 22 prospect. They didn't give up Thyro Estrada. They did not give up um, any of their other top 10 prospects, which is, I, I think it's not a bad deal. Uh, Sheffield has a good arm. He's electric, made his debut with the Yankees in September coming out of the bullpen. He does not have great command. The Yankees were reluctant to bring him up as a starter. They thought that his speed and velocity would play as a reliever. Uh, Left-hander, 22 years old. So you're trading a 22-year-old for a 30-year-old, although with a 30-year-old, you still have control of him for three years. Um... It's not a terrible deal, people. It's not. The Yankees need quality starters. They get themselves a big-time lefty. He walked 42. He struck out 108. Gave up 134 hits in 160 and a third innings pitched. So 176 base runners in 160 and a third innings pitched with a 3.76 ERA. Sheffield in double-A and triple-A, 7-6, 2.48. He had three games with the Yankees, allowed three innings in two and two-third innings. Struck out 123 in 116 minor league innings, 82 hits, but 50 walks. And that was a concern. Now, this is a guy who was a first-round draft pick who has now been traded twice in three years. So, does he become a big star? Who knows? Yankees gave up a big arm, but they get back a big arm. Paxton has had some injuries in his career. Yeah, I was just going to say, not a lot of innings. Right. In, in, a, in a career in which he is entering his seventh season in Major League Baseball, he hasn't gotten to 590 innings pitched. His most appearances last year, 28. Before that, 24, 20, 13, 13, and 4. So he's got 102 appearances, all starts, in a six-year career. So injuries have been a little bit of a problem. So he hasn't given you a ton of innings to work with. But, you know, the stats look you know pretty good. What you like is more 2017 when he was 12 and 5 with a 2.98 as opposed to the 11 and 6 this past year with a 3.76. So the Yankees are hoping you get to 2017, Paxton. Now, J.J. Cooper, who covers uh, baseball, he's the executive editor for Baseball America, uh, points out that Eric Swanson was going to be needed to be added to the 40-man roster. Yankees are out of time without protecting mm -hmm. him. And the Yankees' 40-man roster with such talent, relatively tight. So this makes it easier for them. They take Sheffield off the roster. They put Paxton on the roster. And they don't have to worry about putting Swanson on the roster and losing another player. Right. So there you have it. So that's the deal. Yankees strike quickly. And now you have to wonder, well, who do you want? You want Corbin, who's younger, or do you want Hap? Which would give you then three left-handers in your rotation. CeCe, Paxton, and Hap. Mm, not bad. No, right? it's not awful. For, for a sport Especially that doesn't in that ballpark. have a lot of left-handers. Yeah, and you're right. With a short porch in right field, then you'd be able to dominate those left-handed batters.